Hi guys, I'm here to give you a tutorial uh, of how to do the glitter plate from Dollar Tree. I used to use this, um, it's the small reef, and I used to put it right there and uh, draw a line outside. But uh, I found this plate, which is actually herbal, which is actually the uh, same fit, same size. So what I do is I go around and I'm going to draw the line, trace it a couple of times because as you can see the picture is a little bit dark. Okay, so that's how it looks. Now, this is regular paper. Um, these are going to be gifts for Christmas. Um, regular paper. You have the clear plate. I've already cleaned it on this side, dried it out and everything. And obviously, you're going to need scissors, something to trace with. You're also going to need the mud, po mud patch. And you're going to need uh, your fingers for now. I'll do a step two and what happens afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out try to cut the um, tracing so you can't really tell. I normally do it with pencil so you can erase it just in case I didn't get it all but hey. And I did not see that I didn't trace the whole word here. It says yo te amo Puerto Rico. I love you Puerto Rico. But if the person that I'm giving it to uh, doesn't figure it out, well then, I don't know, I'll tell her. I'm sure she will though. If anybody in here is from Puerto Rico, uh, when you see this um, design, I think you'll notice everything that a true Puerto Rican has in their home. I'm not Puerto Rican, so the only thing I have in my house is the, uh, I forget the name, Pinon? I'm not sure. Okay. Alright, so this is what it looks like. So the next step would be to turn around the plate. And it's a perfect fit. Wow. I'm happy. Okay. So the next step that I do is that I put, um, I've already shaked the Mod Podge, but let me shake it one more time, it gets a little, I don't know why it gets a little dry. Okay, so just pour a little bit, if I need more, I will put more. Yeah, go around. basically because it doesn't really matter and I'm not, I've, it's already cut out and everything we'll just go ahead and do that but if it really did matter I would turn it around make sure that it's centered which again see okay so I start rubbing it in and almost immediately you can feel the little bumps so smoothen it smoothen that out let me use this of course some of the glue is going to come out um you don't have to clean it if you don't want to but oops i mean what did i expect right <laughs> 
smoothing it out, smoothing it out. And I'm going to let this dry overnight um, just for peace of mind. Um, just smoothing it out here too. Like I said, this you don't have to really clean it if you don't want to because you're going to put more glue around it and put glitter. That's how I finish mine obviously. Other people can just leave it like that. But I'm going to put glitter. And actually I was thinking of doing something very unique with this one. I was thinking of putting the Puerto Rican flag colors. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I might. You know, put tape and put red, white, blue um, in there. Okay. So this is... And actually, the, since the Puerto Rican flag is there, I'll probably do it this way. Um, I think I'm going to smoothen it out a little bit more. But you can tell what it looks like there. Okay. Okay, let me smoothen it out. And I'm going to put it next to my heater so I can dry faster. And I wish I had more finished plates so I can do this video today but I don't Yeah, I have some of my hair. Oh, 
um, because this one has that glitter thing, I'm not pointing it all in one spot because I want it to have that little, for it all to have that little effect. Whatever's left over, I will. You guys, I didn't know how I was going to get that, um, the gold glitter out of the, um, the blue. <laughs> so I went and I put it in here and then I, I put it on a paper, um, newspaper and I just put it in there and I just, you know, um, obviously I'm going to lose a little bit blue, but it doesn't matter. It worked perfectly fine. And now I'm going to put it back in the, um, in the blue bottle just all, just lost a little I'll just take the gold put it in something guys um, so remember I said I was doing something with this bottle I put water in it um, I'm gonna do some glitter ornaments and I went and I put the Mod Podge in there and I put some water and then I put some of this uh, glitter in it so this was just recent I'm waiting for it to dry out um, I'm hoping that I don't know, I'm hoping that that works out. If not, I'll just put something in there so it will cover it. Uh, but um, it's a test run. So we'll see how it looks. Um, I'm going to put a name on there, obviously. We'll see how it works. So what happens after you put the glitter is that you let it dry. This is another plate that I did. It's like the, this is the second one that I did. Um, I'm not 100% happy with it, but it's I'm okay with giving it as a gift. It looks really cute. Um, so normally, I would do what I would do is I'll just go ahead and brush it off to remove the excess. Uh, but I'm just gonna leave it there today. And the way you seal it is very simple. If anybody guessed, yay! If you didn't, you're gonna find out. And it's basically by pouring Mod Podge on it. Like a very little, not very little, but I don't want to overdo it. Okay. And let's just basically go around. Okay? That's how you seal it. Very simple. And I'll show you right now what it looks like with the first plate that I did. Be very generous. All over. Okay. Somebody, I have posted this on another, on a Facebook, and they asked me what I, what did I do? And I, you know, I told them, and they're like, yeah, but after you put the Mod Podge, what else do you put? And I said, no, that's it. 
and she said well I tried it and everything fell off I don't know what to tell her because I've tried it and I will show you in a second um, that it doesn't fall off it looks like a piece of a brush okay looks like a little bit more and then maybe I will put my finger in there but because there's some loose glitter I'm not gonna do it And I'm just doing little by little because I don't want to go overboard. There we are. I don't plan on putting any kind of trimming on the side and the edges, uh, but if you want to, you can. Um. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is the first plate that I did. It's I am the daughter of a king. Put a uh, light pink on the back I've already sealed this see and as you can see it's, I mean it's completely sealed I only did one coat um, if I wanted to go back and do another one I could but I don't have to so that's the first one and I did this one Frida Kahlo pink on the side I did a little boo-boo right there and you can tell and I just might add something. I mean, I can tell. I don't know if anybody else can. Again, this has been sealed. You gotta be real careful about your hairs or anything like that. Um, I have a lot of split ends, so probably that's what that is. Again, this is sealed. Okay. As you can see. These are my first plates. So they're these are not perfect. But I love it. I really really love it and I know the person that I'm gonna give it to is going to love it even more really big uh, Frida fan and then this one here is uh, for a pastor a friend of the family um, the other one also for one of her family members which is my best friend I'm doing another one really cute one for the mother I mean absolutely cute um, and these are going to be my Christmas gifts to everybody. Uh, the plate obviously is a dollar. The paper was free. I got it at work. The glitter, I mean, for the amount that I put into it, it's probably not even a dollar. Maybe 50 cents. Um, so this whole gift is like maybe what, under three dollars? Oh, including the Mud Podge, my time and all that stuff then if I were to sell it maybe 15 bucks maybe I'm not sure depending I'm not really sure I have to calculate but yeah maybe if you want to sell it around 15 dollars or 10 dollars something like that I don't know cute huh 